All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're at a Copart yard. So we're looking at RVs today. We got four on our list, and pretty much, we gotta check them out. You know, we on the pictures, it looks like one thing, and in person, it looks like another. And investing so much money, you kinda wanna make sure you invest in the right way. So we highly encourage you guys to, you know, go look at what you're gonna buy. You know, definitely call the yard before you guys go there to make sure they're allowing to view. The last time we called, they're like, no, we're too busy. And this time they said they can, you know, we can come check them out. So let's go ahead and check it out. The first one we got is this one right here. It's an Alpha Wildwood Travel Camper. It's a 2020, so it's roughly two years old already. Um, it doesn't look so good in pictures, but we're gonna check it out. It's gonna play today or tomorrow, and uh, let's check it out. So far from pictures, you can see it's sitting on the floor. So it needs a battery for this thing to go up, which, you know, shouldn't be that big of a deal but it does have a little bit of side damage. In the, side, in the pictures, it looks scary, and sometimes it's not, so. Right now, it looks kind of scary. That's ripped off. You know, not a big deal. The awning is still full of water. Yeah, that's not good at all. This looked like it broke already. But check that out, it's got nice little, uh, you know, texture wood and stuff. It looks clean over there. The tires look like they're in great shape. It's got this really cool, uh, you know, thing for your luggage or scooter or something. No backup camera. And this side looks pretty clean. Besides the damage right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's a lot of roof damage. I mean, there's plywood already sticking out. It's probably been raining, so that's not a good sign, but let's go ahead and check out the interior and go from there. So far, so good. It smells great in here. I don't smell no water. The baseboards are looking good. It looks like it's missing the table. But I gotta say, it, it's not bad inside. Wow, let's check the fridge. Fridge is clean. But, and then we're gonna check the inverter. You know, if that water got inside, definitely these are gonna be corroded. The circuit board looks really good. I mean, all this wood looks good. There's no, you know, there's no stain, nothing like that. So I guess this might be just like storm damage from the outside, but uh, Let's keep checking it out. Okay. Alright guys, so we checked out the outside. The outside looks kind of bad. The inside looks really good. So, depends on how much it goes for, it might be worth it. So, let's keep going and check out the next one. Some pieces. Wow. Mm. Maybe maybe somebody started a remodel and they you know didn't want to finish it. That looks bad. But well, here here is what we're looking for. So this is a 2022 Monumentum. So let's check it out. Let's go around it and see what it is. So. The propane's missing, you know, understandable. The battery is, the battery is there. It looks good. This side looks good, so it's got one little slide right there. Moment of truth, it's locked. It's open. So the bottom of this cabinet looks really clean. No water in there whatsoever. That's a really good sign. This all looks, very, very nice, very clean. It's got a ladder, we can check the front. And this is a toy hauler, wow. Check that out. So let's go ahead and check the insides. All right guys, it smells perfect. There's no smell whatsoever. Wow. 
Wow, check this out. You got speakers in the thing, you got the double bunk bed. I'm pretty sure my side-by-side -side will fit in here. Maybe even a four-seater. It's got the tie-downs. It's got a little table right there. This is a really nice little layout. Moment of truth, the fridge is clean. Wow. Really, really happy about that. Let's go ahead and find the control panel. There's our water tank. Water tank looks good. All the cabinets look clean. I gotta say, this is a nice little, nice little unit right there. Check out this subwoofer. You could be bumping some music. So we got a table right here. The bathroom looks good. For some reason there's a lot of like, I don't know, this maybe hang something up. Bathroom's good. Master bedroom, pretty nice. But I gotta say, I think we found a good one. So we'll see how much it goes for. Unfortunately, the auction's probably later, so, but. Let's go ahead and maybe check the roof just in case, make sure there's no roof damage, but so far, I'm liking it. Not bad, dude. This is like... All right, so the roof looks good. It looks like one of the plastic thing for the vents is cracked, they taped it up. But other than that, the roof looks really nice. Definitely glad I went up there, but we're gonna keep this one on the list, and we got two more to check out. All right guys, so here we have a 2022 Jayco. I mean, after look at all these campers, they all look the same to me. I mean, this one is a bumper push instead of a fifth wheel. I prefer fifth wheels, you know, I think they look cooler. But anyways, this one looks really good in pictures. They actually took the awning out, they took the slide out, so it looks really nice. So far, it looks clean. So let's go around it, see if there's any visible body damage. Test number one. Okay, but at least it takes the big ones. But it has a battery. So the battery's in there, and I think this is a glass. Yeah, that's a glass, so the glass looks good. It's not cracked, you get a nice view, you know, in the morning, wake up. But uh, it's got one slide on this side, and maybe on the other slide on that side, I don't know. But, moment of truth. Ooh, look at that. So, the power is on. Maybe we've got some power in there. We got a water pipe, we got some other stuff. The battery's dead, yeah. But the flooring looks really good. No water line right there. That's not bad. Let's look underneath this thing. All, all of it looks like it's there. Do you see that tire right there? Is that the water line? Probably. Look at that. That's gonna be a very low water line. But these are like the nice glass and everything like that. Pretty cool. Some compartments right here. Also, this looks really clean. I gotta say, like the, the paint on this is really nice. It's a, it's a nice little unit. And this is 50 amp, so I think it has two AC units. And check this out, we got a spare tire and a back door but it's locked. I don't know why we need a back door to like get in and get out maybe. But nice LED lights, no backup camera. Maybe we'll go on the roof. Let me go on the roof really quick and check it out. So it does have two AC units. The roof looks perfect. Not a bad little deal. Okay, I think this is like the outside kitchen. Wow, look at that. Moment of truth, it's clean. All this looks clean. I gotta say, this is this is looking like a good one. I think that's for the table that was out there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's close this up. We can pretty much get this and go camping in Florida. That'd be a great idea. So let's go ahead and check out the front area. So it's got two doors, most likely that's like the back bedroom. This is for the master. Wow. Check that out. Super clean. The floor 
The floor looks good, so it doesn't look like any water damage looked like that. It smells pristine. Let's see, under the bed. Check that out, check that storage. Very clean. The ducting looks very clean. It's got its own AC unit up here, and we can't walk over there. Man. So let's go ahead and throw the back door and check out the rear. All right guys, so check out this interior. I mean, super clean, a lot of little options. The floor looks good, it smells brand new. I mean, have you ever seen a sunroof in an RV camper? How do you open this? There we go. I mean, check, check that out, like natural light. We're gonna leave that down to get better lighting. But so far looking really good. Let me check out the control panel right here. Wow. Super clean. Couches. I mean, still got the wrap. This is not, the only thing we're missing is the TV. You know, I mean, check that out. Fireplace is there. I mean, Michael can drive this and I'll just chill in the back, take a nap, you know, go to sleep. But I don't think you can do that. But anyways, let's check out the fridge. Dun. Sweet, it's cleaned. That's always good. Looks like they took everything out of here. So very nice. And all right guys, we're on the back section of the camper. So double bunks, really good. Lots of storage underneath. But I wonder what that door is for. They got the door in the back. I mean, maybe it's to the bathroom, like quick access. Oh, it's, ah. right, it's right there. There's a door? Yeah, in the bottom. Oh, so you can, maybe this thing like goes out and you can like walk in. That's really weird. But you got, you know, privacy, you know, if the kids want to be left alone, you don't want to bother them, or you want to put your kid in there and go to sleep. Who knows? But the bathroom looks good, floor, everything. All right, we're going to have to definitely write this one down. I mean, depending on how much it goes for, because this one does, doesn't have a title. It's got a destruction title too, so. But we got one more to check out, and we're done. So let's get straight to it. All right, guys, and our last one is going to be a 2022 Jayco something. It looks really fancy. It's hecka big. It's got some cool wheels on it. But uh, let's check out the back really quick. When I saw this in pictures, I was like, this reminds me of a Nissan 240SX. And I don't know if you guys saw the one we were kind of fixing, but uh, the taillights looks like a 240, you know? I don't know if that's, you know, something they wanted to do, but it looks like it. Also, they have this little reflector right here. I thought it'd be solid, but it's like rubber. I guess it's for the driver to see in the cornering. And then I was reading, it's got aftermarket, I think cameras, cause it's got a camera up there. And I think in the front, they got cameras too. So it's like, that's a loaded option, you know? And then it's got LED lights on the bottom. I mean, this thing is looking pretty sweet. We got leveling jacks right here, hydraulic. Those are an upgrade. Aftermarket wheels, maybe not a Jayco, but they, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Big tires, how much cool? 80 PSI, it's not bad. Dexert axles, that's name brand right there. And the water line right here. So water line's pretty low on this thing. Speakers are right here. Speakers look good. It's got LED light right there. Probably waterproof, so we're good right there. Uh, let's go ahead and open this compartment and see what's inside. Oh, outside fridge, so, or kitchen. So we got very clean fridge. That's a really good sign. We got a Blackstone grill. Pretty cool. Let's check out this side. So far the compartments are looking really good. No water inside, nothing like that. And check that out. So we got a carpet. Carpet looks clean. It smells really good. I feel like a salesman. I mean, this is something I wanna buy. So you guys definitely don't bid against me. If you do, you do, it is what it is. But, so far, it's pretty nice. Oh, you see the cameras right here? Look at that, and then night vision cameras, really sweet. Also, I think this is a vent for a washer and dryer. I think it might have a washer and dryer inside. But the front nose looks good. Hydraulics are sitting on the floor. Hopefully we can just put some power to it and pick it up, if we get it. But look at his damages, scratches. LED bar, this is a pretty sweet one. And this side looks super clean. So, not too bad, let's go ahead and go inside. 
<laughs> Take a while. Alright guys, so the first thing I noticed is the control panel, the breaker box or whatnot. Let's go ahead and see if it's got any water in it. Ooh, look, it's got central vac right there. And, wow. No corrosion, everything's looking really good. Let's open up compartment number one. Wow, look, it's a working out of this stuff. We can like work out, we can get some napkins. We got a, uh, whatever that is, pretty cool. Now we got steps, I mean the floor's looking really good. Let's walk in here. Usually once these campers are set up, it's kind of hard to walk around, but we got in here. We got a pretty full size fridge and a door right here. Wow, that's pretty cool. So there's another slide I can see, but I can't see nothing else. So once this comes out, then you can see, but look at this trim work. Wow, this is not a cheap camper. But let's go ahead and see if the fridge is clean. This is very important because Michael does not like to clean fridges. Whirlpool. Wow, look at that clean. Very, very nice. Let's lock this up because somebody's going to transport this and we want them to have a good time. But the oven looks clean, all this island looks clean, everything looks like it's there. It looks like it, someone barely used it. The roof looks clean. Wow. This is a pretty sweet camper. It's got some kind of uh, massaging lights for those seats. It's got a TV over there, fireplace. Wow. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to bid this one. But let's go ahead and check out the master bedroom and see what that is. So that little room we checked out, I guess you can't, the only access is over there. Maybe it's like an office or bunk beds, but it's got a little loft up here and it's actually pretty big. Looks like maybe a queen size. Let's keep going, it's got the ladders. It's gotta be safe. Wow, check out this bathroom, wow. That is fancy. You got like a sink right here and then you got this, you can just sit on and just like take a shower and just like put your feet out. Wow, it's probably the fanciest bathroom I've been in a camper. But let's go ahead and check out the master bedroom. So it looks like this camper, they did, they left all their stuff. Maybe they're traveling, who knows, but it's got a washer and dryer. That's high dollar. It's got a TV. That's worth something. I don't know how it fell off. Maybe they drove it, but the bed's there. Looks like maybe a queen size bed, king size bed. I got some shoes over there. Wow, there's a lot of personal items in here, but it's super clean. I mean, this is very clean. Some kind of AC unit from up there. I don't know, I'm really liking this one. I'm gonna have to definitely show Michael about this one. And uh, maybe we're gonna bid on it. All right guys, and just like that, we checked out four campers. I mean, there was a bunch more playing, but I mean, they look pretty bad in pictures. And there's nothing we wanna get that's a big project. But these are definitely the four that I'm really considering. Leave us a comment down below which one we should play because it is going to play soon. And who knows, we might get one because we got the other ones. We kind of sold them already, so we're ready for some more in the market. But leave us a comment down below what you guys think of the progress so far of these builds, of these walk-arounds, and we'll catch you guys next time.